Hey guys, it's Alexander Williamson, part two of the Hydra, uh, the secret history living inside your aquarium. This is a very ancient, old animal. They've found fossils from hundreds of millions of years ago of this creature, uh, micro fossils. You can see that there is some green algae, and now it's whipping around. That's its foot there. Um, its foot's back there. It's turned its head around to here, and... Uh, you can see that the way it eats is in those chambers. It has no nerves, no muscles, um, no brain, no circulatory system. It has a foot. Um, I'm sorry, it does have nerves. It doesn't have uh, muscles or a circulatory system or a brain. Um, we're zoomed in a hundred times. And at that head, you, you can see him coiled up. Sorry about this view. You can see it coiled up. There's the tentacles inside of there. And when it knows that it's going to die, it will open up and it will actually eject those tentacles. And each one of those will grow to become another hydra. And it gets its name from the Greek myth of the, the hydra or the many-headed beast. And as I said, you can see the um, plankton attached to its head and so sorry that this doesn't uh, focus very well on the camera looking through the microscope lens let's try it at a higher magnification so this is at 400 times magnification let's see here or, sorry 120 times magnification let's see if we can find anything I don't think we're gonna Um, you could see its skin for a moment, but uh, I think it's too hard of a task to find it in that light. It's just a blur. So let's go back to lower magnification. Um, and we will search for it again. It is moving. Uh, I can see on the slide itself that it is moving. So we will look for it once more. While I try to hold this still, I need to get a new mount. So if you're interested in this, uh, the, the micros microscopy, microscopy, uh, microscopy uh, of this and checking out what's living in your fish tank, um, you can help me out on Patreon. There's a link in the, vi the description of the video. And uh, that will tell you how you can help me uh, out and in, the, in such a way that I could get a better uh, microscope. So it looks like, have we lost it? Did it come off the slide? No. Okay, I found it. It's on the very edge of the slide. So as this thing runs out of water, it's recoiling. So there we are. There's at 40 times zoom, and you can see that as the water dries up, it's curling up and it can go into stasis. So it will go into a suspended state until it has water once more. And I think it's one of the thoroughly terrifying creatures uh, that we have in our fish tanks, even though it's so small. Um, I'm trying to show you how small it is in the dark here. You can probably see the slide here. This is just with my phone. And that little dot right there is the whole thing uh, wriggled all up. So, kind of interesting. I hope you watch part one where it was alive. Um, and then I pulled it out, and this is part two. Just wanted to give you a closer look. Didn't look like it had been digesting any of my shrimp, which is good. It's probably still too small, um, but I wanted to share that with you. So that is the Hydra, and uh, I'll list the scientific name also. So There you are. That's the predator in your tank, that little dot, and it has lots of little stinging cells, so... Very interesting that it has evolved such a complex mechanism of attack and locomotion. The 
inching inchworm action. It started on this edge of the slide and it has gone across. Uh, so, all right, guys, if you like what you saw, uh, be sure to give a thumbs up. Sorry, it's a little blurry. If you want to help me put my shrimp through college, protect them against evildoers, the access of evil, the hydras, and uh, the other planaria and critters that are out to harm all of our innocent shrimp, uh, please like, please share, um, be vigilant, and uh, help support the cause on Patreon. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.